Court. Trump lawsuit. <laughs> Fuck you. So, I just got out of a court hearing with lawyers from the Trump campaign and the Manchester, New Hampshire police. My God, is our justice system completely and totally... And hopelessly fucking corrupt. I think you may see where I'm going with this. Yes. Yes, it is corrupt. Fuck these pigs. Fuck this system. Fuck these low-energy, low-intelligence, high-book-learning, paper-pushing, policy-wonk, boot-licking motherfuckers. It's what the court is. Paper pushing policy wonk motherfuckers who have woven an elaborate web of fucking lies, deceit, human excrement, and the fucking turds threaded like popcorn through garlands hanging from a fucking Christmas tree. If that entire Christmas tree covered in lies and deceit, human excrement was jammed up your fucking ass. These yes men motherfuckers are hired for the sole fucking purpose of miscarrying justice and to suck you dry like a fucking tick. We all know why they do it. But let me tell you how they do it. You see, when a crime is committed by a cop or a former FBI agent, Trump staffer, as was committed on me, so it matter in my case, they arrest you, they fuck with you, they treat you as if you are a fucking criminal, at which point you've got to hire yourself a lawyer to prove your own innocence or hold your hand to the gallows, whichever is more financially feasible or politi politically expedient. Once that is done, at least in my case, I filed a civil lawsuit da -de -da -de -da, in civil in federal court, at which point I became what is known a pro se plaintiff. And believe it or not, they will let you prosecute the police and Trump and all the assholes, the f fuck 12, fuck the FBI, all those fucking guys or whatever. And that's exactly what I did. I litigated for a fucking 177 filings, and that's all just fine and dandy. Yay. I have learned all about the federal rules of civil procedure. I've learned about the minutia of respondeat superior and alter ego doctrine. I've learned that Donald Trump has two companies called the Trump Organization, and they both have nearly identical names. One has a the in the official name at the beginning, and the other has an ink at, at the end in the official name. Legal fucking loopholes for fucking worms. Worm shit. Tony Soprano shit, wannabe fucking gangsters, criminals, but we all fucking knew this. If you're not getting the picture here, it is done to shield King Mango from lawsuits. And we all, we, we know it, we know it. Potential filers put in the paperwork only to have the court respond, well, fuck you, you served the wrong asshole. Just go fuck yourself. But get this, in my case, Donald Trump uses the U.S. Postal Service. Post office, and I fucking warned you about this. He used the fucking post office to fucking reroute the mail from Trump Tower to a fucking shell company called Trump for America to some goddamn warehouse in Washington, D.C., then claiming to the court he never received the paperwork. <laughs> and that's what's known as obstruction of process, which is obstruction of justice, and tampering with the USPS is a fucking federal crime. Luckily, the post office, tr the USPS, tracked the delivery, and I was additionally able to get a 4,000-page FOIA request, which showed internal White House emails instructing employees at Trump Tower to commit the crime. It's in fucking writing. It's been there for in writing for fucking years. I filed the paperwork with court, the court, of, of, but I'm, I'm, it's a civil case. They're not going to go fucking after him criminally, you know, so it's just filed. So he's not able to wriggle out of the particular situation that I have him in. This is the Trump campaign and the Trump corporations, the two of them. And of course, like Paul Revere, there I am screaming from the rooftops, but no one cared. Oh. Trump is tampering with the USPS to rig the election, you say? Too bad you didn't listen to me in 2019, fuckwad! <laughs> so I, I won't bore you with all the gory details of the lawsuit. You wanted to know how they do it. They do it by lying. Lawyers are encouraged to lie. 
they're incentivized to lie. They're paid to lie. So they lie and they lie and they lie and they lie and they base their lies off the lies of the cops, which they lie. The, the cops lie on the street. They lie in the arrest. They, they lie in the courthouse. And with these lies, the lawyers accumulate big dump trucks full of money in order to hire more liars to, to, to tell more lies so they can justify their existence and pay off cronies who in turn use their influence to increase the budget of the police departments so they can arrest more people based on the lies to raise more money and tell more lies. And when you think there's nothing more to lie about, they hire a court fucking stenographer to record affidavits of people lying. And they create affidavit upon affidavit to make more written records of their lies. And then they write lies based on this new set of lies, throwing in it's the record of law and throwing a pinch of old case law and make it sound like it's the Magna Carta. And that means you're not lying. If it was in the Magna Carta, it means justice. Am I right, old English? Hey, I do a British accent. Am I right? This elaborate system, powdered wig. <laughs> the system of lies is, of course, based on the infrastructure of deceit and human excrement, which they use to decorate f the fucking Christmas tree of fucking lies and deceit and, and fucking doo-doo in this metaphor. So to review, we're all fucked. Are you new here? Don't know what I'm about? Fuck 12? Fuck the police? Fuck the courts? I've been arrested eight times since Trump, Trump was running. I've been raided by the FBI, ICE, Homeland Security. I was kidnapped by black bag style mercenaries at Standing Rock. Each and every single incident has been caught on video each and every single time. It is clear that they are lying pieces of shit, not concerned with the rule of law, but doing the bidding of their overlords and to intimidate the press. I've seen cops perform needless arrests so many times, I've lost count. I've seen them launch tear gas canisters up at Standing Rock on Turtle Island. Fucking you know, like on a hill, it's a 45 degree angle, or just everyone could have gone fucking flying down. This, 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 uh, this veteran, this, uh, this woman, she's, she's screaming that they're derelict of duty and, uh, they're, they're taking stolen valor and they fucking shoot a tear gas canister at, at her and me and everyone there. And people are trying to throw them back and we're all just fucking rolling down this big fucking hill. Uh, and run down to the water and put fucking milk of mag magnesia in our eyes. That's, that's no fucking thing for someone who claims to serve and protect. You know? So I've, I've seen cops fucking point a loaded AR-15 at a crowd with their hands up. And I've seen people in, in, in the water. I mean, you've seen all those videos. People are standing around with their hands up in the water. Hundred people there just getting fucking maced in the face. You know? I've seen him rip a man out of his car and pull him to the ground. So they could steal a car. He didn't take it. I mean he jumps on the back of their home feet, rode down the street. I mean I you know, I I guess I tell that story a lot, but I mean it fucking I'll never forget that shit. Seen cops in unmarked vans do drive-bys. Throw open the sliding door, fire munitions at us. Choke down so much fucking tear gas, fucking immune. I sprinkle the cyanide residue on my fucking Wheaties in the morning. <laughs> Listen, just just to make the point, when there when there when there's an incident with the cops, I file a police report. Not every time, I, but but I, I do it often, and and I don't know dozens of times, and once that I can think, of, and I've been to hundreds of rallies, but once that I think of, they ever carried out an investigation. They, in fact, they don't even get back to you. If you think I'm going hard on Biden or Harris or any of that fucking shit? Think again. I get to see firsthand all these cops slash politicians. Which, which is, again, that's what Kamala Harris is. I see all the fucking lies they tell, lie after lie after lie after lie, into the court. That, that's what this shit is. It's, it's a system based on lies and deceit, and uh, a few people with uh, piles of money that kind of put in 
there's, there's, there's no governments anymore. There's, there's no board. The board. These things are fucking meaningless. So if, if you have, you know, you, you're one of these people that says, oh, I have a friend who's a cop, but he's a nice guy. I guarantee it's because he's not in conflict with him. But if, but if that cop friend of yours and, you know, one of his co-workers puts his, puts his foot on the neck of the next George Floyd, that thin blue line, that means, that means your buddy will very likely have the back of his fucking murdering colleague. And, and I think that's what so many of the fucking moderates or liberals or what the fucking middle of the road people don't fucking get. The cops are a gang. Don't forget it. They are a fucking gang. They're lying liars that fucking... They, that's that fucking blue line that you see in the logos. That's what they're about. All day fucking long. Back their fucking stuff. Then they don't protect and serve. When they give their speech at the beginning of the day, their little fucking pep talk like the football rally, they're saying, your fucking first thing is to come home alive. Make sure you're safe. And don't have any fucking punctures in your fucking thing. Well, if that's the fucking case, there's no more honor in what you're doing. You're just a fucking blowhard for the fucking corporations which the police have been hired to fucking protect. Kamala's, Kamala Harris bragged that she was the top cop. Biden is completely out of touch with what's going on in the activist world. And I'm not alone in this fucking thinking. His out of touch Kamala pick has ensured a Trump win. I mean, if, if you want to fucking go there, but if you want to make the lesser of two evils argument, wherein you choose evil, there's roughly 1,100 people who are running for president. Not that that fucking means anything. Nothing substantive will change until the people realize the CIA and the military industrial complex and all the fucking black bag fucking mercenary groups are the ones fucking running this shit. They're the ones blowing up other, other kind people or just people, you know, around the world in order so we can destabilize regions so they can build up their businesses so that they can fucking pass it to their cronies or whatever. And to, until we fucking realize that the fucking military industrial complex and the CIA is running shit in tandem with the mega corporations that fund the this shit or whatever, you know, like, then we're fucked. Their lies are so fucking shady, you don't even fucking know the lying's going on. You actually, you know, got out and waving my Trump flag or my I voted pen. Wake the fuck up. It's a fucking goddamn pack of lies, and this was supposed to be about my fucking court shit. I got nothing else to say. Fuck. Fuck 12. Fuck the police. Fuck this shit. I'm not reading the comments today. I'm out.